What's up? I never know how to do these intros. Um, so just gonna show you um, real quick. I built a recording booth in my closet um, without too many modifications to it. Uh, so yeah, so not, nothing real fancy on here. Um, but then when you open it up, Uh, yeah, so this is the recording booth, um, acoustic phone, uh, microphone, uh, when you come inside it has the stand, because I'm usually just recording by myself, so I put a stand with the keyboard and a mouse on it, and then I put a monitor, basically kind of a breakdown of it, so what I had to do on here is first I had to uh, take the shelving uh, and move it up higher, because I think it came down to like here. It was, it was fairly low. I had to move it up high enough uh, so then I, uh, you know, you could stand in it with these. Um, and then when I moved it up higher, uh, I moved, or I put just like one inch acoustic foam on it and I didn't even do anything except set, set all of my boxes on because that's what people do, they keep their boxes. And then I took a bungee cord and put it hooked it on here and then hooked it to the um what's that thing called uh i guess the, the mic holder boom thingy my bobber man I, i'll i'll probably link this stuff if i remember where i got this stuff from but i didn't want to put any strain on actually let me turn on the flash or the light i didn't want to put any strain on it itself so that's why i had did it Ooh, dusty um on there so it's kind of kind of the contraption kind of just it looks so rigged because i put the wooden block on there to hold up the uh pop filter uh screw that in there and then i have another wooden block on there as well uh with the metal piece in between i don't know if you can really see it uh yeah with the metal piece on it to hold that together to hold the stand together to put the mic on um, and then I have another filter I don't even know if I need that filter um, I don't think it really I think it's just kind of like I don't know it, I have to look more into it uh, kind of just it's, this is more of a messing around and getting comfortable with my um, style of recording or my voice of recording or just like mixing and mastering and just the overall process of it trying to do everything myself um since you know we're quarantined for well we've been quarantined but even then i think i just wanted just to actually have a little recording studio because I, I like to do stuff myself that on there i have a link to everything and then i ran the cables down and then i have a piece of carpet kind of help with the sound and everything um and then i just kind of i mean it's still my closet in a way uh well this is like my th second bedroom third bedroom closet um so it is my closet so i still put my stuff in it but like i'm the only one in here so it doesn't really matter too much i have to get rid of that curtain that came from the house uh then i have my hooks or uh, microphone <laughs> my headphone holder uh, for my headset and then I have the knob on here and then I have Cosmo and no wait I can never tell the two apart yeah I have two black hats the house is so the way the house is is that the closet is kind of off and everything so it kind of slowly closes itself so just to keep it open to show on here I have to hold it open but so basically what I did on here 
uh, is I cut the uh, wood on here um, to match the closet itself. And these are bifold doors. Yeah, bifolding doors. So I actually had to take out, actually, let me go ahead. So I had to take out this thing. And what I did is I turned it sideways and just pushed it up and then just made it flat and then screwed it back in. And then I took the piece of wood, screwed it in three places, and then kind of going down in the middle, screwed it on there, and then screwed it on the side. And then three screws at the bottom as well. So that was for the door itself. Um, and then to make the doors, so that was just to swing it out. And then these things right here, That's where the folding is, so you don't have to worry about that. What I did was I took out the actual piece itself. I took out the actual piece itself, and then I put this uh, the metal holder um, to put on the door, magnetic. Uh, and then I took, I mean, I didn't really have, well, I didn't know exactly how I wanted to do it. I was gonna get like a piece of wood and put it up on here and then um, get like a metal piece. But instead I was like, let me get some L brackets and just screw it up inside the thing, have it hang it down. So then when you actually close it on here, sorry, sweetie, and actually close it on here, uh, you can see that it just locks in and it's actually quite tough on here. And like, it's really wobbly as well because if you look down below, I don't really have anything supporting it on here, anything on here, but then I just cut a little piece so it doesn't get caught on the actual thing itself. And I usually close this one first, like so. And I close the other one. And it's just, um, and I usually don't open the side with the foam on it. I used to open the side with the foam on it because I don't want the foam like, I mean, I put ticky, uh, sticky tack on it, but I didn't want it to uh, constantly open up and then I just want to enter on this side. So then when I enter on this side, come in on here, close it. I mean, you can kind of hear the difference itself. It's a little dusty. Um, but I do actually have LED lights. Um, I'll show because I have the LED strip. And it actually goes out to my room as well. So, and then this is where I turn it on. And that little thing right there is so I can like point the clicker on and show it up. And then I have the power strip back there for the lights. generate any heat at all but still I gotta get rid of this thing on here um, yep I'm in here uh, so see I have the LEDs that I put on here and then the strip uh, because it kind of goes out to the room itself. Um, but yeah, it's not its not like too tiny. I mean, it's, it's a closet, so you can fit in your closet. It's not bad, I mean, on here. So that's how I have it on here. And like I said, I have the monitor, uh, so then I can just uh, click where I need to go. Like the mouse is kind of, the mouse is kind of sensitive uh, to Bluetooth, so obviously I usually have to open up the door, kind of move it around, and then, but you know, I'll figure out something. I don't know if I can just get an extra long USB or a more powerful one, but I mean, who knows? I don't need phone that much because I figured most of the sound, I, I, don't, I don't need it down here, and I'd be afraid that my leg will like bump into it and 
start rubbing it off and everything. Uh, and then on here, I did as much closing as I can so no sound will escape. But again, this is like a very low budget. I would say low budget, low budget, high budget. I don't know. I mean, I guess the stuff that I, I mean, did I really need the monitor? No, but yeah, I guess in a way so I can see what I'm recording. Yeah, so I can see my um, volumes and everything. I'm trying to justify why I even got the monitor for aesthetics, not really, but um, for it to actually, so I can actually see what I'm recording and everything. I'm gonna try and do some more videos. I don't know if I'm gonna like set something up on here or set it up here. I don't know where I'm gonna set it up because I have nothing to really place it on except for the stand on here. I guess I can do this on here. Record my TikTok videos of me rapping. In my closet. That works um, but yeah it's kind of it's not like I mean I'm a pretty wide dude I'm 6'1 yeah excuse me I'm, I'm trying to finish something calm down calm down always Cosmo just just you hear that I haven't even been here for like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, too long for him. Dad, where are you? I need your attention. But anyway, so over here, I put the, um, this is all the sticky um, spray and I put it on there because at first I was just gonna use the command strips and then I was like, wait, I own the house. So, I mean, I'll just spray it and then if I need to get more, I don't plan on moving out anytime soon. Some of it comes off, but I just needed it on there for it to begin with. Um, and then if anything did fall off, not in the middle of recording, but if anything did fall off, then I would just take the spray, put it back on. Um, I'll put a link to what spray I use as well. It's actually really good um, for the most part. And the reason why I use this type of wood um, is because I needed a smooth surface. Cause I could have used just the back of the actual um, bifold, but I was like, nah, I'll just because I couldn't get the actual stickiness. And then even look, see, like it even see even coming off still. So I gotta, I gotta spray more stuff on, put it back on. So it is what it is. <sighs> Hi. Hi to both of you. Yep. Hi, hello. I'm here. Are you okay? Are you guys okay? So yeah, um, that's the booth itself. Um, if you have any questions, Have a good one. And thanks for tuning in. Oh, Pop Prodigies. Black Man Chris. Peace.